Hi guys and welcome to Gerji Reviews. So I decided to make this quick video. I wanted to make this for a long time. So as you guys know, I do watch Grace Randolph still, although I don't agree with some of the things that she is saying. And she does have a lot of experience with Hollywood herself, a lot of knowledge about the actors, the studios, how things work in there. So I do appreciate her input on all of that. But sometimes she does say some things that for me are not quite like that. But you have to tell me what do you think because it's interesting to me. So what's the topic here? She is saying that some people are not really draws, you know, some actors. Let's say Hugh Jackman, when he is in the main role, if people don't go to see his movies, Grace will say that, well, he's not a box office draw. But to me personally, that is not quite the case because I do not go uh, to see a movie only because of the actors that play in it. I go for the movie itself, for the story. Like for instance, the new Spider-Man is coming very soon and Tom Holland, I really like the guy, really like that, that boy. As an actor, previously when I heard that he was cast, I wasn't excited at all, but when I saw him in Civil War, he was just the perfect Spider-Man for me, or very close to the perfect Spider-Man. But he's not a famous actor. So when now people go to see Spider-Man, they're going to see Spider-Man because now it's a part of the MCU along with Sony, of course, and it's also the story about, well, Spider-Man. I don't think that anybody cares whether or not it's Tom Holland in the role or somebody that is like Tom Holland but a lot, a lot more famous. Let's say a movie with Ryan Reynolds as well. Deadpool was a great movie and a lot of people went and saw it and the movie was, you know, very successful. But the other times, Grace says that he's not a box office draw. But when it comes to Deadpool, obviously we have a very successful movie and the same actor that previously didn't have such a box office success. So my point is, guys, that the mere fact that movies like Deadpool that are with a very famous character are successful, no matter who plays the main guy, in terms of uh, some kind of a draw, like she thinks that there is a draw, that means that people go to see the movie for the movie and not for the actor himself. Yes, it's very important who is in the lead role in terms of compatibility with how the a particular character is presented in the comic books or or if it's just a regular movie like the one now with Hugh Jackman the greatest showman people to me are just going to see that not because of Hugh Jackman yes it's awesome that he is in the role and he has to be correct for the role for that character that he plays but in terms of whether or not he's going to draw people yeah of course somebody that is a fan of Hugh Jackman is going to go and see the movie but I don't think that actors themselves are the draw that Grace makes them out to be and say that they are box office poison. I mean, she called Aaron Reynolds a lot of times box office poison and I just don't think that that is the case at all, not only with him but with a lot of other actors. I just think that if a movie is not successful, it's just because of the movie, of the marketing of the movie, the way that it's presented, like uh, John Carter of Mars was considered a good movie for most people. I really liked it too but the movie was marketed very bad so a lot of people didn't go and that is totally not the fault of the actors themselves yeah sure sometimes actors don't want to promote the movie and when that happens they have a fault that the movie is not promoted as well but that doesn't mean that they themselves are the reason because people didn't went. Some people cannot go to a movie for a variety of reasons, but to me, there is no such thing as box office poison. There's just not. There's either a good movie and good marketing to the movie, or there's just very bad marketing to a movie. Another example, Henry Cavill was never famous before he played Superman, and people did go, and Man of Steel is a successful movie is not something super huge but it's overall a successful film and people didn't have any idea who he is some people watched the Tudors I personally haven't some people watched some of his previous stuff but 
those are very small roles compared to Superman. But nobody cared, everybody went to see a Superman movie. And of course, when you have Superman in the role, it has to be a new actor, at least most of the times. So that is normal. That is another topic on itself. The point is, guys, that a lot of people go to the movies for the movie itself. Every comment that I ever read, every person that I ever interacted with, I always got the impression that they are going to see a particular movie because they are excited for the story, for the special effects even, for the overall franchise that that movie is presenting. That new movie, Dark Tower, that is coming with Idris Elba, well, he is a famous actor to people like me that know you know, coming with movies, but for instance, my friends or my friends' friends, they have no idea who the heck he is. For instance, I'm just saying for instance. But a lot of people have read Stephen King's novel, so they're really excited for the movie because they really like the trailer, how the movie looks like, how the trailer presented the movie. So a lot of people are going to see the movie, not because Idris Elba, not because anyone else, but because the movie and the story. And I've always been like that. I've always seen movies for the movies, not for the actors at all. Although, of course, I have my favorite actors and I do want to see them on screen, but sometimes if the movie does not interest me enough or I just don't have the financial possibility to go, I'm just going to, you know, see it at home when it comes out. Again, another example is the new John Cena movie, The Wall. I'm probably going to see it when it comes out on home video. I mean, depending on where the movie comes out in Bulgaria, I'm not sure who is the distributor to our country, if the movie is even going to come out because it's a smaller movie, not sure if it's going to come out to our screens. If it comes out, maybe I'm just going to wait it out just because of financial reasons. But I really want to see it, not only because of him, but because the movie really looks interesting. Although he is one of the main reasons to see the movie in this instance because I really love him and it's very rare to see him in a movie still. It's not like it's super common. He's trying to act, he has a movie every year or, or two movies that he's in every year now, but before that wasn't the case. So it's kind of different because it's still rare to see him in a movie that often. So that's why I'm going to see every movie with him, definitely. But as far as how things are in general, I do think that the movie itself is much greater factor than the actors that play the roles. Again, another thing that I can think of is Iron Man. I watched Iron Man when I was little as cartoons. They of course came out in Bulgaria a lot later than they came out in America. But my point is that I always loved Iron Man and for me he was always a, a very popular hero. Maybe not for America as far as I heard, but for me it was one of my favorite superheroes. So when the movie came out, I never seen Robert Downey Jr. in any movie before, I think. Only heard of him, so I saw Iron Man 1. Really didn't like him as Iron Man because he didn't have any physique like I was used to seeing in the TV show, in the cartoon, he had a huge muscular physique there. He had that, you know, playboy good looks with the square jaw. I mean, he's not bad looking, but he's not like a hunk or anything like that, how Tony Stark was presented in the comic books and, and in the TV show, and I did have several comic books of Iron Man. So, I was disappointed of his casting initially. But I did go to see the movie because of Iron Man, not because of him, although I was disappointed that he is playing the role at first. Again, that, that is just my point. But let me know, guys, what you think. Do you go to see a movie because of the movie itself and how you felt the trailers? Or you're going to see the movie for the actors and do you think that there's such thing as box office draw and box office poison? For me, there isn't. It's just ridiculous to me to speak about, let's say, Emily Blunt. And she's such an amazing actress. And to say that she's not drawing people, that that's ridiculous. Everybody likes Emily Blunt, I think. But if the movie doesn't look that well, they're just not going to go. That's just a matter of fact to me. Also, Alien, the new Alien movie. Grace also said that Michael Fassbender was a box office poison and somebody actually called him that in Hollywood, I think. And he was very offended. And of course that he would be because he knows how talented he is. And it's not his fault if the Alien franchise of the new Alien movie, Alien Covenant, fails. It's just not. He did his best work there, in my opinion. Also, Assassin's Creed just wasn't a great movie. I mean, for me and for a lot of people that are fans of Assassin's Creed as a gaming franchise. 
and he did his best i mean he did what he he was asked to do in the role he was uh, very good in the role and it's not his fault if the movie fails he's not a box office poison he's a very charismatic and talented actor and just to call actors box office poison or box office draw kind of not a fair to reality they're all good actors and just a matter of marketing and quality of the movie, what people heard and how the movie was presented to the public uh, to determine the movie's success. At least that's how I see it again, guys. Share your thoughts down below. You can check me out on social media. My other channels, Zina GK7, Getty G Gaming, whatever, and fitness, and my t-shirt store, everything in the description. Until next time, guys, with Getty G Reviews.